right, guys. So uh, week. I could hear it when you talked left and week talked one, right. How about you, now? You almost completely. What, yeah. what about now? Well, I I don't know now, but I'm just assuming. Da, 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 da. All right, guys. So here in Georgia, there is a really so immature. I mean, he's handling it just right, I guess. <laughs> bring it, bring really it in and out closer, closer, yeah. a little bit further, yep. closer, further, a little bit faster, closer, further. Yeah. Gotcha. There you go. So uh, no. here, here in Georgia, we've got a uh, the, the Georgia Bow Hunting Challenge. Uh, last year, uh, you and Mizell both both did it last year. Yes. Yep. Uh, this year, a bunch of us jumped on board. So uh, Mizell, Chasten, Ivy's doing it. Rice is doing it. Matt. Matt's, is he doing it? Matt's yeah, Matt's in it, and then and then I'm in it as well. You you, you elected. I didn't to. know if I was going to be able to get out there as much as I wanted to. So which I, now after seeing the after giant seeing, buck that was out there yesterday, you're second most, guessing. Yeah, me. probably. So but anyways, then again, I'm giving it to my son if he comes around. Yeah, oh, that's very nice of you. I, I wouldn't, but. <laughs> Well, you don't understand that because I don't, you don't I, have kids. One I, day I, you listen, will. I can, You'd be I can, pushing the kid like, move it out of the way. I'm going to get this thing. I, I, can, I can appreciate it. I don't understand it. But, <laughs> but yeah, so the Georgia Bow Hunting Challenge, it's a, it's a, it's a bunch of group of guys, face, Facebook uh, challenge where um, each, each person can shoot uh, two does and uh, you can enter one buck. Obviously, we can shoot two here in Georgia, but you can enter one if you shoot a bigger one later. You know, Obviously, that overwrites the first one. Uh, it's, it's a really cool group because you get paired up with three other guys, three people you may not know. Matt is actually in a group with one of his neighbors. So that was, huh. that was pretty cool. He's, his, uh, one of his three guys, three other guys in the group lives a couple doors away from him. Uh, or you can be like me. I'm, I'm paired up with, uh, one guy over in Dahlonega, uh, and then two guys down in, down in like Covington area. Never met him before. We've chatted a bunch, you know, so I think you, you end up building some some friendships and some hunting buddies off of this. Uh, so week one is is getting wrapped up, right? We got through opening weekend. Yeah. Um, I I sat five times so far, and I've seen four does, <laughs> no shooters. Uh, Chasen, on the other hand, what's what did uh, what's your opening weekend look like for the challenge? <clears throat> yeah. So uh, deer season twenty three is here, and uh, had an opportunity to go sit this property i got permission on this year i've been putting in a lot of work and a lot of man hours over there getting everything ready um had some good candidates on camera and was able to connect hunted saturday evening um was that wasn't able to hunt opening morning because i was getting off work that morning um but got in the woods saturday evening filmed a uh seen and filmed a, a very good nine point uh bug that he was about 60 yards down in a bottom i just couldn't couldn't make it happen um fast forward uh to sunday morning got up got in the stand uh hour and a half to an hour or so before daylight and uh immediately had deer all over me it was a beautiful morning in the woods ended up having a one of my target bucks i was after he's a uh, uh, mainframe seven with a kind of a split g2 so it'd make him an eight pointer um came in and full velvet was able to harvest that animal got it all on film so that'll be releasing here soon hopefully um but yeah it was just a successful definitely a successful opening weekend for me so first velvet buck ever Mm -hmm. um i think that may be the first time i've ever shot a uh a buck like that on opening weekend too also potentially the first first buck enters so someone, someone's, yes, getting, someone's yeah. getting a nice, nice camera from yeah, Spartan. Yeah. So um, they, uh, that was the first buck that was entered in the contest. And during this contest, there's or this challenge, I should say, mm-hmm. there's different uh, prizes. Like if you, I think last year the top three people got prizes. Top three teams got prizes. Uh, of course, my team came in fourth. Uh, <laughs> but top three teams got prizes and then there was even other prizes that individuals got like the biggest buck entered got a prize uh there was random drawings for everybody that entered a buck i think um there was just multiple different ways to kind of to win a few prizes Mm -hmm. um and so this year one of the prizes were the first buck and the first doe to be entered would win a spartan camera um and as fate would have it i now um hopefully they Get, got in contact with me yesterday so hopefully it's all 
uh, in the works and going to end up happening, but should have a Spartan camera here in the next few days. So we'll see how that goes. Pretty awesome. nice. I'm try, trying to think who else. So rice, uh, rice end up harvesting a doe. I don't think you entered it though. That thing is crazy. So something about hunting city deer, um, which you, I don't think you, most people wouldn't realize this. The amount of coyotes in the city is astronomical. So they, uh, so he shot his deer, um, ended up getting down a little bit later and he's not far, far from, from his truck, got back to his truck, got back to the deer with maybe a 10 minute difference between leaving the stand and getting back to the deer that they could see relatively right, kind of where, where it fell at and it coyotes had already, already got to it. Yep. Um, so I don't know if he entered that one. Who else, uh, did, did Mizell shoot a doe? Mizell has not Mizell shot. Had, right. no, not that I know, not as of right now, yeah. unless he did. So right, right now, Chasten is the the only one on the on the on the board out of our uh, out of our group. But uh, we're all we're all on some kind of deer right now, just trying to make it happen. Yep. And now I'm uh, kind of can relax a little bit, um, harvest a few does, um, and I'm just in search mode. Uh, I'm gonna try to find. I had a couple really nice shooters over here at that spot that have disappeared. So um, I'm gonna go in search mode and try to find them and get a during this challenge you're allowed to you can only you know submit one deer but you're allowed to like submit another deer to late like another buck later to upgrade that buck right mm -hmm. so if it's an upgrade of the one you originally shot and submitted you can submit that one and it can count as an upgrade um and so that'll be my mission now obviously is uh to finish this season strong mm -hmm. and hopefully what are you going to do with the buck are you going to mount it? So uh, that's a, uh, yeah, I'm mounting it. Um, and I don't know if I've really talked to you guys about this yet much, uh -uh. but um, I'm actually going to start taxidermying myself. I'm going to start trying to do this and learn Are that. you going to do that with your velvet? Yep. Your first one with so the velvet? I'm gonna, yep. I'm gonna uh -huh. going to, uh, that'll be the one that I start with. Um, and I'm going to start trying to do that and, and get, get that going. So that's awesome. Um, that is really cool. That'll be, um, That'll be kind of my next step. So we'll see how it turns out. It can go one or two ways. It can either be good or it can be bad. That's Oof. the good thing about it. 50-50 chance. So. Take, take, take a swing at it. <laughs> so. you, you, you miss every ball that you don't swing at. I mean, if it comes out with buck teeth, you know what you did wrong. But well, yeah. you miss, you, you miss, At that point, it would just be funny. You of the shots you never take. Yes. Yeah. Michael yep. Scott. Michael Scott. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great show. But uh, so you guys, we we'll we'll br bring in some other stories in too. Um, we're gonna try and do our weekly updates on the 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 Georgia bow hunting challenge, kind of what we have going, what we've seen, what what we what we've actually tagged, uh, as well as some other ones. I've got uh, a guy coming coming in later. We're gonna have another podcast coming out with uh, my buddy Chase. Crazy story on uh, accidentally tagging out uh, with his buck tags the other night. Yeah, so he's he's bucked out for the season on, already on, on on accident. Uh, so it's a it's a super cool story. Great video. We're putting that together. We'll get it out to you guys. Uh, so you guys, I hope hope you guys are enjoying uh, the weekly updates we're coming out with. Uh, the next podcast coming up, I believe, is going to be uh, one with Painted Arrow. We just talked with Nate, and I'm telling you guys, listen to that podcast. Uh, check out Painted Arrow. Uh, phenomenal product. I, I, I used it last night. Essentially, it's a, it's a mount for your bow so you can film with either a GoPro or ideally with, with your camera. And it's an absolute game changer. Uh, I, I think we're definitely going to get some great footage this year just using our phones, right? Just it's, correction. You, you said camera. You meant phones. Sorry. Yeah. Phones. Yes. Everybody's so used to their phones being called yeah, a camera. So yeah, it makes sense. Camera. But yeah, there he's talking about your actual your camera actual phone. actual phone, right? Actual camera phone. Um, used it last night. Great footage. Um, it actually gave me some opportunities to get footage of deer that I I couldn't have got footage with, with my actual camera arm that was on the tree next to me. But I wasn't able to move, I'm, I'm, and I'm observation sit horrible stand for actually trying to shoot a deer out of great one to see deer out of. But I couldn't move, uh, and I was able to capture the footage with my phone on my bow rather than you know moving around, getting the camera in place, getting everything turned on. Uh, so you guys again, painted arrow, check them out. Uh, that podcast with Nate's coming out shortly, and uh, you know, good luck this season, 2023 bow season, and George is here. Uh, Exciting so far. 
yep. some success, many different ways. Uh, it, it, I was telling a couple of guys, the, the only thing that's really changed for me right now has been my eating habits. I've been surviving on Quick Trip uh, coffee, <laughs> cinnamon rolls. Hey, you won't try my uh, deer meat. Um, I've, I've made some nice jerky here. Chasten here has been kindly enough to I'll, taste I'll, it and I'll, says it's actually been very tasteful, but yeah. yet... I'll, Scott I'll, doesn't want to try my man. I'm sitting here drinking my quick trip coffee. So <laughs> we'll, we'll get to it. Hey, coffee and jerky actually go really well together. I'm good. Well, hey, you guys, enjoy the season. Tune, tune in, listen to this next couple episodes. And if you've got a great story, call us, get a hold of us. We'd love to have you on. We'd love sharing people's stories on their their successes, whether that's the experience itself or or even harvesting uh, you know that target buck you were looking for. Yeah, thanks, guys. Um, good luck to all those out there this season. Stay um, safe. Shoot straight. Stay safe. Wear your harnesses um, and your safety lines. Always, never forget that. Mm-hmm. And uh, we wish you guys all success this season.